Temperatures were seasonal across the region today. We should be into the mid to upper 50s, and that's where we were. We did keep mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. We made our way just an increase in the clouds through the day. Let's take a look at our North Platte sky cam. And as we made our way through uh, the day, we stayed mainly dry. A few more clouds going into the late afternoon and evening hour. Couldn't get rid of that easterly wind producing the moisture in the form of clouds and maybe some rain showers during the overnight. High temperatures across the region at 56 at North Platte. Uh, mid to upper 50s, Ogallala, Imperial, and Lexington. Lower 50s at Broken Bow, but uh, Valentine, the cool spot with a high of only 37. Right now, Valentine falling to 27. We're near 40 at Ogallala and North Platte. Low to mid 30s in Hyannis and Thedford. And currently at 37 degrees at Broken Bow. There's your wind, mainly from an easterly direction. With those wind speeds right now sustained between 10 and 15 miles per hour. That easterly one is going to keep us under cloud cover. I did mention some rain during the overnight. If temperatures do get just below freezing, we could have some freezing rain. Now, because of that, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time uh, from Lincoln County and points off to the north and points off to the west. This is basically from Ogallala and North Platte and points off to the north up toward the Valentine area because of the possibility of some rain or snow showers. Some of it along the I-80 corridor and just off to the north could fall as some freezing rain. And the timing on that is going to be within a few hours of of daybreak when temperatures do get cool enough. So across the region, we do have mainly cloudy skies across uh, most of central Nebraska, western Nebraska too. And you can see the system that is producing some precipitation already to the panhandle southeastern Wyoming. We'll track it as it moves across the state during the late evening and overnight. Doppler radar showing we do have a low that could pump in a little bit of uh, warm air, but this low will continue off into the Midwest. High pressure to our north is giving us that easterly wind that is producing the moisture. And right behind it, another low will form. So we're going to keep the possibility of uh, some moisture in the forecast all the way through uh, late Wednesday or early Thursday. So as we make our way through the evening, we do have the mainly cloudy skies with the possibility of some rain or some snow showers or even some freezing rain. This activity will move into the sand hills and then eventually out of the region. By tomorrow afternoon, we do have sunny skies and high temperatures reaching the low to mid 50s for most of us and then we will take a break from the moisture through the overnight Tuesday uh, night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday starting off near 30, just partly to mostly cloudy skies and high temperatures for Wednesday in the afternoon to the upper 40s to near 50. But by Wednesday evening, more chances for some rain or snow showers that will last until Thursday morning. The second chance of getting just a little bit of moisture in here. So this low is exiting and with it come, comes the chance of moisture for tomorrow morning and then another one forms that'll give us the possibility of some rain or snow showers as we make our way through Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Then more high pressure works its way in and we're get back to a warm up with more sunshine. Let's take a look at that temperature outlook as we go through March 26th through 30th, so the fourth week of the month. And uh, it looks like we are still going to be cooler than average. Average highs approaching lower 60s this time of year and it looks like us and as you make your way to the west coast it looks to be a little cooler than that and for the precipitation outlook it looks like it's going to calm down in terms of moisture moisture is going to move over the rocky mountain states west coast midwest and northeast as we get back to a normal amount of precipitation let's take a look at the extended forecast now watch out for maybe some slippery spots tomorrow morning back to partly cloudy skies a high of 58 by tomorrow afternoon wednesday's high near 50 with a chance of some rain or snow showers later in the day. High of 50 again for Thursday, mostly sunny, up to 57 for Friday, more sunshine, and another chance of some rain or even some snow showers Saturday night and through the day on Sunday as temperatures fall back into the lower 40s to round out next weekend. Kent. All right, thank you very much, Justin. And it's the time of year we all 